and welcome back to my channel. So I want to share today a more of a collective haul video. I've purchased this stuff over the past month I want to say and I've just been collecting bits by bit, bits not showing them on the channel because I wanted to do just a video dedicated to them. Now I want to say half of this stuff at least I've not tested out, I've not used yet so you'll um, see it on upcoming videos. So the first one that I want to show you is to do with diamond painting this is the only thing diamond painting related i promise but it was this little tray and it did come all flat packed and i managed to build it myself that tray is not included i've just popped that in there and i did order this again off amazon i'm just noticing now and i haven't dropped it one of them's a bit chipped there but it's not the end of the world but if you're working on a large piece of your diamond painting and you've just got a certain set of colors I think this is really really handy I found it handy with the one that I've just finished the Diamond Art Club one I'm gonna start my little YouTube logo one next so this will be really handy because there's only a small amount of colors in that so I'm looking forward to using that again put that to one side and I think that was around £20 ish off Amazon and I waited about a week for postage with that so the next I've started doing uh, watercolouring paintings and I wanted to, I've took inspiration basically from Kirsty, from Kirsty Colouring Sketch and I watched her, I think it was the the Ducks video and I took, to, I took total inspiration from her video and I thought I want to do that and I want to try it. So I tried to get hold of the boot that she had in her last haul and I couldn't, man, I couldn't get hold of it so it's on my list to get. But this is all about how you, you paint uh, flowers. Literally, step by step, how you paint flowers. All the different techniques are at the start of the book. All of the paint brushes and paints and stuff this artist recommends. Just graphite pencils. It's a really handy book. And I've, uh, not, I've not sat down and read ev everything yet. Because it is uh, quite a big book. But I managed to get a hold of this on the... Amazon warehouse deals and it was meant to be £15 and it was classed as used and you can see a little bit it's a tiny bit dented the and the and I paid £10 for it but other than that it's a brand new book as you can see there. Always check the Amazon warehouse deals especially when it comes to tutorial books I think but they don't need to be in perfect condition so the reason that I got this purchase is because of that tutorial book. She recommended these paint brushes. Now, I'm not going to lie, these are really expensive for me for watercolour brushes. And I'm yet to use them. And they were £41 or £42. Again, off Amazon. And there's three different sizes. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to use them. If I don't like them, you know, they will be going back. For that price for three brushes I'm expecting I'm expecting a lot but I have already shared this and I followed a tutorial by Kirsty Partridge I'm one of her patrons and I followed a uh, I think it was two or two and a half hours it was a long t tutorial step by step how you do each of these and I so enjoyed it I so enjoyed it so that's why I thought I'm going to take this a little bit more seriously and buy the supplies that these people are recommending so that is the brushes. I wanted to try some uh, watercolour paints but the tube version. Now my thought process with this is if I'm doing a large area, I don't know about you but I find it annoying using the pans and then what if you've mixed the perfect colour and you've used all that colour up, you're having to mix it again and you might not get the right tones. So I thought I'd try these and these are the Paul Rubens. And the 5mm is 36 colours. They are only tiny, but you only need the smallest amount, I believe. Again, I have not tested these out yet. I wanted to keep everything looking pretty for the video. But possibly tonight or tomorrow, I will crack these out. And there is a Chinese white in there, which I do enjoy. So there is a selection of colours. This isn't all the colours in this box this is just the colours that are available this is just a smaller set I thought that 36 colours would do the job and it comes lovely packaged all like uh, Paul Rubens things a nice sturdy box that I will be keeping the paints in this a 
along with the watercolours again I went for the Archer's uh, the cold press paper again I was recommended this I've not tried it yet it is super duper duper textured and very very thick very very thick so how I'm going to use this is I'm going to take one piece out of the pad and then use my glass the cutting board I sometimes have as my background in my videos and uh, masking tape all the way around I think that's how I'm going to use this but yeah, this was recommended and it was quite expensive this. How many sheets is it? See, there's only 12 sheets in here and I paid almost £25 for 12 sheets of watercolour paper. So for that price, I'm expecting it to be good. That other watercolour paper that I used, that picture that I just showed, that was like £10 for 15 sheets, something like that. Again, a watercolour pad. But I didn't know at the time, I didn't know this was a thing. This is a watercolour block. Um, they're not separate. Well, they are, but they're glued together. To get the pages off, you have to put like a little card, like a credit card, something thin. And then you go around all of the edges to remove the glue. And then you can take the... See, this was a tester page. And I managed to get the the, the paper out. Just pop that at the front. But it's, it's really easy to do. And I really, really like this paper. This was from a tutorial in the next book that I'm going to show you. You're going to see on my finished pages. I've, I've hardly done anything this month apart from watercolour. And what day are we? Are we the 5th, the 6th, we're the 7th? Yeah, really enjoyed doing this. I had a problem though. There's a couple of tutorials that say to use salt. So I was using just uh, fine table salt and it wasn't giving me the effect that I wanted. Are you going to go back? Right, there we go. Yeah, so it wasn't giving me the effect that I wanted and a couple of people have said to use more coarse sea salt so I did purchase this it was only about £1.20 from Amazon on the next day delivery and I haven't opened it but the pictures that I've seen online it, it is quite coarse so you put this down on the paper while it's still wet and it gives you a really really cool effect so yeah that's not for cooking that is for art only <laughs> this is the other tutorial boot that I was talking about if I can just find there's all sorts in this and it's this uh, sort of art like watercolour art I really really like I don't think I would be ever ever be able to accomplish um, realism animals I just I just don't think I could but this I just love it I absolutely love it I love the colours everything about it so if I can quickly find that way up wherever it is, oh, the beta fish as well, look at this one even to the background, they're my sort of backgrounds that I already do anyway so I am, I am uh, familiar right, so that's the whale so that's what I based off, obviously it's not as good as that but I thoroughly enjoyed doing it and there's literally step by step how to do it and I already had a masking fluid pen, I've not got it to hand but the one that I had, is this it? it is this one it's not my favourite, it takes uh, so much effort to get, get get the nib to work and get the actual liquid to come out, I sort of give up on it it did work for that whale picture but it took me a lot, a lot of effort so I did go out and get this one this is the one that Kirsty Partridge recommends again I have not used it yet so watch this space and I'll see how I get on I'm really looking forward to using that. What size nib was that one? A 4mm and what size was that one? A 0 0.7. So maybe that's the, the problem I was having. The nib is just too small on that one. But that can go back up there now. But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing all these tutorials and the online tutorials. That's my aim this year. I want to get better at watercolour. That is my aim. You would have already seen this everybody's got this boot now I've actually purchased two copies so this is the one that I've not coloured in yet uh, the reason that I ordered two copies is I'm going to use just pencil in this one which I really really do but I am just going to use pencil and then my other one is going to be mixed media yeah so mixed media work but lovely lovely book this one stands out as soon as I saw it I knew it was the Galapagos Island uh, lizards so I don't actually know the proper name of them it says at the back but as soon as I saw it, I knew it was the Galapagos Island. I remember watching the David Attenborough uh, on it. It was so good that that's one of my favourite ones that he's actually done. Anyway, I don't need to find I don't need to find out the name of it. 
But yeah, really cool book. All of Kirby's books are absolutely superb. Paper's brilliant in them. I can't recommend them enough as well for eight eight pound, eight pounds something as well for these boots. And they always come down in price. They always come down to about five or six pounds. Sometimes you can get them on an even cheaper deal. So just check out Amazon and keep to keep an eye on them. I've got one acrylic paint this month, and it's a super sheen one. So if I just lift it up to the camera, you see how shiny it is. It's like um, a liquid metal sort of colour. I do apologise for not swatching all of my stuff but I don't want this video to be like over an hour long. I just want to share everything that I've got and then as the weeks go on you will see these products in upcoming videos. So that is the deco art. I've used deco art paints before and I've never had a problem with them. Let me just get this big one out of the way. Now this did pop up on the the Facebook Colour with Claire buy and sell group and as soon as I saw it I jumped at the chance. You know that I've got a couple of other backups of smaller packs of Prismacolor but this, the lady was selling it um, and she's actually one of my sus subscribers and I recognised the picture and I messaged her, is it still available and yes it was. Completely not used, fantastic condition and she posted them from Northern Ireland uh, to the UK. Um, and then I don't think she charged me, I don't think she charged me postage, I'm pretty sure she didn't. It was just £90 altogether that were it. And for these pencils are going at the minute for over £130, I mean they do fluctuate uh, every now and again. But yeah, I couldn't resist, that was too much of a bargain. Too much of a bargain, so I've got a backup of a backup of a backup. I'll just move that out of the way. Uh, more watercolour related. Again, because of Kirsty from Kirsty Colouring Sketch, I got this little book and I thought this one would be handy if I just want to do a little doodle but not, nothing too spectacular and I just wanted it to be small. And that's the first time that I've opened it, just, it's nice textured paper, oh, it's smooth on one side it looks like, is it? Yeah, so it's smooth on them sides and then textured on the other. I thought it was textured all the way through. Anyway, so I thought even if I use this as a watercolour swatch book, uh, because the one that I've got is quite large, but I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll see. I think I'll decorate the front and back of it though, maybe with acrylic paint. That'd be quite neat to do. So that's that. And then I promise this is the last couple of things that are watercolour related. I needed a large watercolour brush just for wetting the page for the wet on wet technique and I don't think I could have found an, any bigger than this one and the reviews were on this were excellent and it was only about £6 I think. It's not the best quality brush, it's a Jackson's art one. It's not a fantastic quality brush but it will do the job of what I want. I just want it just for wetting the paper. Which way do you go? You go that way. <laughs> and then gouache again because it was recommended to me to use with the watercolour and it's only a little small tub and it was quite expensive this for a small tub it was about six or seven pounds for a tiny tiny tub but I imagine that this will last me quite some time are you going to go back on lid? there we go because I don't want it drying up yeah I'm really really interested to see how these uh, all perform to be honest all perform together and just because I wanted to be fancy smancy I got myself a porcelain little dish and the reason that I got this, number one, because I wanted to be fancy and feel the posh when I was watercolouring, but because of all the different little holes. I used my resin tray as well, but that was just, um, it's just a plate, so there was no divots or anything. And this was quite reasonably priced as well. Again, I'll link, I'll try my best to link everything down below, but it's quite heavy, it's a good quality one. So yeah, so when I'm sat here in my watercolouring with a cup of tea, I'm going to feel so posh. <laughs> I just got some fine line, uh, the Pit Artist pens, all in different nib sizes. And my plan with these, I'll just show you this picture again. When it comes to doing the detail on these, I was using a Copic uh, fine liner, and I think the ink's just running out. I've, I have used that a lot, and I've had it for quite some time. And I didn't have any black liners, absolutely any. I just had a normal, like, where is it? Just a normal writing pen and obviously that's not going to do the job that I want it to. So I just got these in the six pack 
just in different sizes and I can do these sort of effects a lot easier as well because I really struggled with them trees with the the brush that I was using because it, it wasn't the best brush it wasn't the best brush so I'm hoping that now I've got all these different supplies aimed mainly towards watercolour I'll improve and the very last thing that isn't watercolour related are these now they do come in a pack of three so I think it was them three was it them three and then possibly was it them three I can't remember which order it was because some of them still got the cellophane on some of them haven't but if I just mix it up these are these Spectrum Noir Sparkle inks they're exactly the same as the pens let me just shake this up so they're exactly the same as the the pens but just in a ink form and they won't show up as glittery on camera because things just never do so we've got purple shade we've got peach two different pinks two different blues a green and then two different browns that i'm yet to take the plastic off yet oh that's not too bad they might be actually better showing you yeah from underneath because it's all settled at the bottom you see so that's why you give it a good shake there's like a little metal ball or plastic ball inside but really really cool these for adding little touches to your page or if you want to add a quite a cool background that's a really nice colour and that one that peachy shade really really nice like I said they do come in sets of three they're around about these fluctuate as well from like £12 to £15 for, th for three so I'm happy with that selection of, of colours but that is that is everything that I've I've been buying I said I was not on a I weren't on a buying suite to be fair my husband gave me some money he was kind enough to give me some money and then some other things were paid for thanks to you guys watching my videos so yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video and like i said all these different products will be coming in upcoming videos when i feel a little bit more confident to do proper watercolor like pictures by myself i will do more on the channel but at the moment i'm still a novice when it comes to watercolor because i'm not just doing it as a background like a full picture anyway i'm going on so thank you very much for watching subscribe if you're new and please do like the video it really really does help me out it helps the channel it helps me get seen and take care and i'll see you in the next one bye